welcome back to my channel, Walk and Talk with Queen P. Um, it has been a while in terms of, actually I've taken a long time to upload um, this vlog. This is my vlog of Ghana. I went to Ghana back in April of this year. It was truly amazing, truly amazing. Um, as you can see in this video, um, <laughs> I waited a long time for my luggage. But do you know what? It was well worth it, as you can see by the beach. Um, yeah, Ghana is beautiful. It's such a beautiful country. Beautiful, beautiful country. And you know, one of the reasons why I've actually put this on my channel is not only did I do some kind of walking when I was in Ghana, the heat there is amazing. So you're not going to be walking like 20,000 steps. I was doing as much steps as I could. But I want to really show my audience and, and the wider audience how beautiful Ghana is and what it has to offer. Um, I had a conversation with one of my colleagues at work the other day and they were like, oh yeah, how's Ghana? Is it, you know, safaris? You know, got safaris and that. And I was just like, are you joking? Like, that's not what Ghana's about. It's not about safaris. There's so much more that Ghana gives. And they actually were associating Ghana with some kind of like, with a lot of poverty. Now there is get poverty free music in Ghana, don't get me wrong, Google there is. But there's so much other things in Ghana. It's just like coming to London and, and, and taking a video of the most poorest area and saying this is London. That's what the media do. But there is so much more to, there, there's so much more to Ghana than what the media show you and that is why I decided to video a lot of the beautiful sites in Ghana. Many of the sites that is so appealing and is hidden I would say. There are a lot of hidden gems. The Royal Century as you can see here is two hours away from Accra. The actual architecture and the actual the everything is just Oh, thank you. Thank Five you. stars, really up there. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, beach resort. I don't like live bands. I don't like live bands. But in Ghana, the bands, oh, oh my gosh, they are so good. They are so good. They are so good. Um, oh, okay. What you can see here is the grounds. I'm going to be taking you on a guided tour of the Royal Century. And it's basically kind of like, as if you were there too. So a lot of the grounds, a lot of the buildings, not this bit here, this bit here is actually the reception. But a lot of the grounds that you will see will be all the hotel rooms, which are just divine. They are absolutely divine. The attention to detail is up there. It really is. It really, really is. Um, I've been to so many countries. I've been to Bali. I've been to Kuala Lumpur. I've been to America, a bit north, um, east coast, west coast. I've been to um, Hong Kong, <laughs> I've been to Thailand, I've been, I've been around, I've been around, but what Ghana has to offer is something that needs to be enjoyed by all. Look at the grounds, got tennis courts, golf courts, um, you've also got a, a tree house bar as well, which is quite, quite unique. Okay, this is more of the grounds with a lot of the hotel rooms very the divine the divine and aircon galore aircon galore um yeah this is definitely a, um, a resort where you can really take in the beautiful scenery the grounds the manicured grounds and also you can take in the fact that you can just relax just a place to come and relax and take it all in to be honest it's absolutely divine absolutely divine Okay, um, what you've got here is the um, boat cruise um, and it's one that I will show you later on in my video so do keep watching to see the boat cruise which um, was oh my gosh it just I think Ghana just says so many things that surprise you and oh it's just yeah it was it was a really nice cruise actually and look what else it's got to offer you don't need to go to a zoo or whatever it's just on your doorstep Look at this beautiful peacock. Oh, just out there. You just walk past it on the grounds. It's just, just there. You know, just there. Absolutely. 
absolutely stunning absolutely stunning as I said before you know I wanted to really bring awareness to the fact that of what Ghana has to offer and I know the likes of Vanessa Canby and uh, various other YouTubers such as Natural Ghana Girl um, and Woody Maya, especially Woody Maya, has really brought attention to what Ghana has to offer. So has superseded the propaganda of the media kind of paint of Africa as a whole, as, as, a, as, a, as a continent of extreme poverty, but it's got extreme beauty, extreme everything. There is so much Africa, Ghana has to offer. And if you deep, deep in deep and disregard the media propaganda, all will be revealed. You have to go and see to be able to appreciate rather than just <laughs> believing that the media propaganda. You know, this is the beautiful grounds as you can see, with all the hotel rooms and the lovely trees. Absolutely lush. The manicured garden is right. <laughs> now, uh, the time that I was mentioning is now we're going on the boat cruise. The boat cruise was again another lovely experience. I would say it takes about, it just goes. <laughs> Okay, we, we took a trip to Lagon Botanical Gardens. Unfortunately, when we got there, because we're going to go and do the zip line, unfortunately, when we got there, it was actually closed for maintenance. It's 50 um, but I think it's there. a little bit of a snippet as to what there I was to see. There's a little bit at the entrance you can see, but there's a zip line and all sorts of things in this botanical garden that, you know, you can really appreciate. It's just unfortunate on that one day that we chose to go, it was actually sharp. We then headed off to Nkrumah um, Memorial Park. Obviously, this is um, um, Nkrumah's statue, you can see. Oh, plantain. Mm. Even though Ghana actually, um, the course have it in abundance on the trees, Every time we went to a restaurant, they never had it, apart from that one restaurant we went to go and watch football. On to Kepensky Hotel, so from Royal St. Jude to um, Kepensky, a different type of hotel. This is more hotel than the beach resort, absolutely stunning. Stunning! Another illustration of what Ghana has to offer that the museum will never show you. Okay? But I will. And I know that other YouTubers have shown um, in the past. I know Passport Heavy, I love his channel. Passport Heavy, I think he's, his video of Ghana was one of the best videos that I have watched actually. It really kind of like captures a lot of things that Ghana has to offer. And I think he did it um, during the year of return. So there was a lot to see and a lot of things going on. He, he did really well. I love all of his videos. He goes all over the world and videos so many different areas. And one of his best videos actually, one of his top views was his um, video on Ghana, so there you go. Okay, yeah, we're at reception, and look at that, look at this. Ugh. Just, the attention to detail is just out there, it's just amazing. Amazing. So yeah, look at all this art, the arts. 
plants all over the hotel. It's just, just divine. I mean, the Kapensky Hotel, it's stunning, as you can see. Um, they actually have a gallery um, there, 1957, obviously the year that Ghana um, got their independence. Ghana, uh, it's, it's called um, Gallery 1957. I'll show you that gallery shortly. Um, but I'll show you some more of the hotel. I think I was heading towards the lift to go up to the room. Unfortunately, I didn't vlog the room. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. But take my word for it, it was beautiful. Just like the one in um, Royal Century. The views, and again, many tennis courts as well, they have to offer. The grounds again very beautifully manicured and amazing swimming pool as well. The spa, oh my gosh, the spa, the spa, the spa. My cousin actually recommended me to go to this particular spa and to actually have a treatment called the journey. I had the treatment and I've been to many spas again in Thailand, in the UK, and again, <laughs> the spa in Ghana is number one. This one is number one. The actual treatment called the journey was absolutely amazing i nearly fell asleep i don't ever fall asleep with um spa treatments this one was just out of the world out of this world oh yeah it was crazy absolutely crazy i would urge anybody to number one go to ghana and number two visit kapensky hotel and go to the spa which is divine but i think i'm just kind of like showing you the reception here the reception area i think i'm gonna go to the spa shortly i think i'm just taking it all in all the beautiful interior decoration it's just out there everything attention to detail and i think it's, it's just it's just there i'll let the, the video speak for itself for a bit let me rest my voice for a bit Okay, yep, yeah, there you go. Gallery 1957 inside the Kapensky Hotel. So yeah, let me leave you to just take in the beautiful paintings within this gallery. I mean, Garner itself, before I, <laughs> before I leave you to take it in, Garner itself, like, there's, there's so much art and craft that is just up there, up there, you know? It's just, the actual quality and the uniqueness of the arts and craft is is there and it's something that should really be noted You can see for yourself. Oh my gosh! It was amazing. The breakfast in the Pepsi Hotel was divine. The choice, the quality, the seasoning, the everything was up there. As you can see, my plate was quite piled up. I thought I'd just show you what it has to offer as well because I can eat everything. So I'll just show you the array of the selection of food it has to offer and the beautiful seating areas that it. It rises as well. Okay, I think we're gonna go to the actual spa now. The spa, Recent Spa, Recent Spa, one to go to. Number one, go to Ghana. Number two, visit Recent Spa in Kapinski Hotel. 
as a superfood, the treatment I had is called the journey. Definitely one to have. Highly recommended. Please do like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification button. Your support is truly appreciated and will allow YouTube to actually share my video with a wider audience. I really want loads of people to see this video to appreciate what Garner has to offer. So please do like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Keep watching, keep supporting, truly appreciated. There you go. <laughs>